Hey YouTube, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Today we're going to look at workshops in Fallout 76. This is a new concept and mechanic of the game that a lot of people may not be taking advantage of because there is very little information on them. Workshops basically allow you to automatically generate resources. This is how it works. First, you need to find a workshop, denoted by this symbol. A small pop-up comes up telling you whether it's owned by someone currently and what resources are available. Then you go up to the red workshop bench. Interact with it to start the claim process. If it is unclaimed, you'll typically need to eliminate some enemies in the area first. It'll cost 25 caps and it takes approximately 15 seconds to claim where you have to sit in a circular area. If someone else has claimed it, it'll cost more, turn on PVP, and you can be attacked by the owner. Once claimed, you can now build anything that you would normally build in your camp. What is special is that you now have an extra supply of resources denoted by the green number that you use to build. This is separate from your normal junk. If at any time the resource cost number is not green, that means it is using your stash resources. When you go to the resources tab, you're able to see what kind of items you can output. Select the resource generator and the spot you can place it on will have a green wire blueprint. Once placed, check if there's a power box that you can get free electricity from. If there is, make these connectors to string to the wires from the box and to the resource generators. Once powered, it will automatically start producing goods every couple of minutes at each generator. Sometimes when you try to loot the generator, it'll appear empty. Simply look away and look back to see the resources appear. At this point, I'd recommend using the defense tab to fill in holes in the walls and make turrets to protect the base because periodically it will come under attack by NPCs. If you do defend it, then you'll get event related loot at the end. Another tip, just like your camp, you can add locks to the loot panel of the generators so players cannot steal from them. If they do loot it, it will make them wanted and add to their wanted level if they loot from it afterwards. When you take resources from a locked generator, it does not become unlocked, just like locked doors. You can also add a fast travel mat in the miscellaneous tab and fast travel to it for free, making it a good outpost if you're questing or exploring the area. So that's workshops. I hope you have a better idea of how they work now. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there are any workshops you like in particular. Check my channel for other Fallout 76 videos and board game related videos. As always, check out my blog, nightknowledge.com. Thanks for watching this today and I'll see you next time.